there's a new update for the Victron Servo GX. Hopefully this video finds you before you update it because you may just change your mind. Watch this video to the end and I'll explain why. Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Chris, this is Salty Trips channel, and we're all about full-time RV living, trucks, travel, towing, and we have an extensive solar array set up on our RV. And of course, we started to go with Victron components. And we have this Victron Servo GX here. And as you can see, it looks a little different than it usually does, right? That's because I woke up this morning, there was a new screen that came on. It must have downloaded the update automatically. It just said next to if you want to install it or whatever. And actually it froze up my Servo GX. So I couldn't even do anything with it. I actually had to go down to the basement, unplug the HDMI cable and plug it back in and then restart it. And it allowed me to do the update. I'm like, my idea was like, well, if it's an update, it's probably got to be better than it was, right? There are some things I would like to change on it. I didn't do any research before doing the update and I wish I would have because I might've just changed my mind. And I'll explain to you the ups and downs of the new update. I clicked on it. Uh, we did the update. It goes through and tells you it like it changes a few little things. Like it allows you to change some things from like, you know, where it says amps to watts and stuff like that. Just the simple changes. It's basically nothing big other than the fact of the layout. Just the way the layout is, is pretty much the biggest thing. It doesn't seem to actually do a lot more stuff, but it does. Let me just say this. It does have some benefits, but it has one really big drawback that I'm having to deal with. <laughs> and some of you guys might be too. And you may just want to stick with the original software because this is kind of a big one for me anyway. Let's kind of go over uh, the look of the new update and check it out. All right, so here we have the new update. The one thing about this is it seems to be like a lot of other companies out there have come to like, they like this like little circle graph. And there's, this is just showing battery right now, but like if you had a tank sensor or propane sensor or anything else, they'll all show up in like a circle graph percentage. And then you got your shore power watts over here, which it doesn't say, you just have to assume and figure it out. And that's your AC load wattage over there. This is your solar array over here. And it doesn't even tell you that. And this is what your DC load is. This is just your basic home screen. You touch this and then it gives you four little menus up down here that you can go to. And honestly, I kind of like this one best. It's You can either click this there, click that there. It just swipes back and forth. It's the same thing. It's just one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you can just swipe it over. But this is kind of similar to what was they had, but they just kind of changed things up a little bit. Like the solar PV was over here and the D, the the battery was over here and the DC loads was here. So they just swapped all that stuff around. There's one thing I don't like about that, which I'll explain in just a minute, but it's very similar. And if you see like a blue box around one of these things, that means that you can click on it and it'll bring up another menu. Like you click on the AC load, there's nothing, but like you click on the shore power and it'll bring up menus for like your uh, shore current limiter and stuff like that. And it's just, it's basically all the same things, just located different places. And then this is just clicking on your inverter and it has a lot of the same things there. But then you click on your solar, which I like this because it then brings up all three of my solar PV, uh, MPPT charge controllers. And I can kind of see what's going on with each individual one, how many volts are coming in, how much current is going in, how much watts I'm getting from each individual one. I kind of like it to show all individually up here but this just shows you it all combined. And then of course you click on your battery and then you can click on the, there it's just, it's the same menus as kind of before, and then your, your shunt and you can change the settings and everything, but there's not a huge difference. And then you got your DC loads. That's basically it. And then you come over here, your notifications, simple. And then you click over there, your settings. It's all the same stuff. Uh, date and time, firmware, yada yada's language. And there's a few little things that you can change in there. So one of my complaints is the way they switch this up. Uh, because like when you look on the VMR portal, they're in different places too. So they should all be uniform no matter which platform you're looking at on this one. Or if you're on the VMR portal 
it should the PV should be on this side, the battery should be on this side, and your your DC AC loads whatever should be in the same location. I think they kind of cheesed out when they went with this because there's a lot of other companies out there, and I think kind of with the same kind of look, and I think they're just kind of following a trend. And honestly, I think you know just be yourself. You know, if you're Victron, stand out, be Victron, unless you think that's what the customers want. And they may want that. Maybe they did some uh, focus groups or something. But I'm not a big fan of this. I'm probably just going to swipe it over and keep it over here. Because I like that better, the kind of the way it was before. I really like the bright colors from the original because it kind of stuck out a little bit more. And there's one big, the, one of my biggest pet peeves, which we'll, uh, we'll go over that in just a minute. This is a bit the biggest one I'll save for last. But this one here is one of my things that's kind of bothering me that you may want to uh, know is when you go to the mirroring so that you can, you know, that the, where you open up in your, on your phone and you should be able to just turn your phone like that. And then it just mirrors the screen up here. But for some reason it just says Victron energy and keeps loading. It doesn't do anything. For some reason I can't mirror my screen. Like, so if I want to see what's going on, I have to open up the VMR portal. I can't just, mirror it onto my phone there's something something glitchy there that's not working right so i don't know victron if you're watching this uh take note and figure out what's wrong but this the mirroring is not working as you can see i've been here a little bit and it's still just saying loading 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 nothing's happening and it was working fine before so that was an issue. That's one of the issues I just saw. And I just downloaded this thing this morning. So I haven't had a real long time to fiddle with it or anything. And I wanted to get out this video as quickly as possible so that, you know, I could warn you guys in case some of these things are a negative that's like, you know what? I'd rather just keep it the same. And I like it the way it is. Those are the th things you got to think about. Like I said, I do like being able to touch that and look at my, my charge controllers and stuff like that. And there's one issue about this that's, that's just driving me crazy is, I don't know about you guys, when I turned about 40, I, I had 20-20 vision my whole life until I turned about 40. And I'm in a little bit of a denial, but I got to wear these things. And this screen and all the writing on it is so much smaller now. I didn't before I did not need this to see what was going on with anything. I could just come up and take a look. Now I'm having to put these stupid things on to read these things. And this is the seven inch screen too. It's not the five. If you have the five and you have having these kind of issues, then maybe you may want to just stay with the original because honestly, when I click on here, you know, it just may be me because they're getting bad, but I can't read that stuff without this. And that's they. I wish they could. They had an option there. To, maybe there is, but I I couldn't find it uh, to change the font size to make things bigger, especially like just going back to this. And there's not a big contrast. You can actually change it to like the daytime mode. We'll go there settings and display and uh oh. That's not the right one. Let me put my glasses on. Can't see this crap. And uh oh, dark. Here we go. And go to light. And it's it's a lot lighter. Maybe that that contrast is a little better for you. Maybe you like that. I don't know. I haven't decided which way, and I'm going to keep it on. But I do think I can see it a little bit better with the light than the, the dark background. So that may be something that you can think about. But if you got 20-20 vision, maybe this will not be an issue for you. But I did like the bright colors and everything else about the, the other system. There are some other things that I would like to change about this, but they did not make any of those changes in there. Um, I know there's some like uh, little gadgets and widgets that you can download to, to put on some software updates to, to change this. Like so that you can see all your PV controllers individually and more information. I wish they would have done that because I don't like downloading and putting other stuff in there that didn't come directly from 
Victron and I don't want to have any issues, but I don't want to deal with that. So I just leave it the Victron software and I'm still on the fence. I'll probably, it'll probably grow on me, but I'm thinking I right now, as of right now, I wish I would have just kept the original and I maybe watched a video too like this and then made a decision. Before you guys make that update, I hope you guys found this helpful. It helps you out. If you like solar, off-grid, RV stuff, full-time living, you know, hit that subscribe button, notification bell. We have lots more videos to come. I hope this update was a little helpful to you guys, and we'll see you guys in the next video.